What's good? It's me, J. King, aka Coach OG. Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, O-Head Gang, and my IQ Ballers. And special shout out to the Clamp Camp. Y'all know we with all the smoke. We making a point guard, y'all. So, so we're going to keep it moving. We're going to go 6-3 on the height, similar to the current gym build. 6-3. In case you wonder, this is the inside out playmaker that I was thinking. But we're gonna go 202 on the on the weight. Now, if you look over, the reason why we're going 202 on the weight is because we wanted to try to get the strength up. And once we go here, we're gonna max the wingspan. So I said 202. So you notice once I max the wingspan, the strength goes down. But we're able to be at a 75 strength. I'll show you later why that's important. So, we're going to go define. Why? Because I be in the gym, bro. They said we couldn't make all-around build, but we about to do just the very thing they said we couldn't do. So, let's go to driving layup, and we're going to go to 87. Now, you know there's other things are moving, too, man. That's just the thing. I'm pretty sure y'all figured that out by now. If you're already on the game, if you're not on the game, you will figure it out. Things will start moving. You can go from a 50 to a 90 real quick, and, and you ain't even move nothing. So, that's why they say it's hard to make all-around build, but... We are not everybody, man. We're point guards. We're IQ players. We know stats. We know the game. We know what to do, period, man. So we're going to go 86 on the driving dunk. Now, let me explain to y'all why I did what I did. So we're going to go to the badges right here. Now, if I go down one, what happened? Fearless finishing with the silver. We want it on gold. So in order to get finished, finisher, finish, fearless finisher, can't even talk. That's kind of a tongue twister. We say it too fast. Fearless finisher on gold had to be 87. Now, we go to driving dunk. Limitless takeoff goes to silver. In order to get it on gold, you got to have it at 86. But that's actually not the biggest reason as to why we did it. If you saw my current gen video, then you know exactly why. If not, I'm about to explain it, so don't even worry, man. Dang, stop rushing me. We go to 86 because at 84, you get pro contact dunks, but at 86, you get small contact dunks. And I don't care what you say, but ain't nothing better than a six, uh, somebody under 6'5", dunking on somebody that is well above 6'7", and above. It's nothing like it. You catch him off guard, catch him under the rim, and you, hey, over his head. You know what I'm saying? Good old cashews on his neck. Anyway, moving forward, 86. It's also another requirement, by the way. To get the small contact dunks, you also have to be at, you have to be, can't be any taller than 6'4". Can't be any taller than 6'4". So 6'4 and below to get the small contact dunks. To get the pro contact dunks, you could be any height, but small contact dunks, you have to be 6'4 and below. There's also another requirement we'll talk about in a second. So, moving on. Oh, by the way, we're going to go with the close shot, and we're going to go 70. Now, that 70 really was just for badge purposes, but I was just trying to get as many badges as possible. So, uh, we got 19 out of it. So, that's what we got. So, going down to shooting here. We're going to go 75 on the midi. You know what I'm saying? Now, to be honest with you, I feel like it's easier to shoot the midi than it is to shoot the three. Like, I didn't even upgrade my midi, but I keep making them, and I keep forgetting that I never upgraded my midi. And I'm hitting. I'm hitting with the midi. It's crazy. Uh, on the three-point, we're going to go 82. Now, keep in mind, if you're looking for certain jump shots, you better be very aware of your, your three-point rating if you want a particular jump shot. Uh... So be aware of that. But the reason we went is because Mike Wayne said stay in the mid-80s for a consistent jump shot. So uh, I feel like we can go a little lower. And once you figure out a good jump shot and you figure out your timing, and take your time, y'all. Don't rush into the wreck or rush into the park. Take your time to really home in on your jump shot. Ready to go my career, get some real gameplay. Me personally, I had to do my career to get the gameplay feel. Uh, and I also still do my court as well. So go to my court or, or uh, the Gatorade facility for next gen here. So get get some shots up, man. It's important. It's, it, the shooting is is very different, very different. So it's a little weird to me. Uh, it's not so much that it's harder. It's just 
it feels different. It's good. You get you can get more consistent greens, but you got to be on point because them whites are not going on going in like they were in 22. So, uh, yeah, so we go 82 on the three-point shot. Uh, free throw, we're going to go 82 as well. Uh, free throws, to be honest with you, I feel like the free throws are the hardest thing in shooting. Uh, but, you know, I got to go with my hometown homeboy. Uh, not homeboy as in I know him. I'm not going to cap. Uh, well, since we talk about the whole time, I ain't well. I ain't gonna well. I ain't welling. But uh, you know, he's from the whole time. He's from the DMV. KD. I use KD. You know, what I'm saying use whatever you want. I'm just saying I use KD. Uh, I had no reason to say that. I just wanted to say it. Leave me alone. Uh, now let's go down to pass accuracy here. Uh, pass accuracy. We're gonna go to 86. Now, reason we went to 86 is because of particular badges and. The fact that if you were playing point guard, you should have at least an 80 because passing pass accuracy matters to the type of passes you're probably going to need to make to hit your open men. Uh, you're also going to need it for the speed of your pass. So if we go to badges here. If I take it down one, you'll notice floor general, just like with my current gen vid on the same build, floor general goes to gold versus going to Hall of Fame. So we want it on Hall of Fame because we like options. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Ball handle, we're going to go 89. 89 on the ball handle. Once again, showing you here. Quick first step. That's what we were going for. We want Hall of Fame quick first step because we want to be able to kill people off that first step. One, because so we can slash better. You, you That first step is, is essential in you slashing. And uh, two, well, you know, makes us a better ball handler, whatever. And ball, speed with ball, we're going to go 90. This is important. I would say, as a point guard, you should always have no less than 90 on your speed with ball. Um, perimeter defense, we're going to go 86. Because at 86, you get a silver clamps. And we're going to go 85 on the steel. Because at 85, you get silver glove. My goal was to get silver on both of those at the very least. So, uh, we're going to go 30 on the block. Um... And defense, actually, we'll come back to that. So here, we're going to go 83. And acceleration, we're going to go 80. It's not as important as speed with ball. This is just your off-ball speed. I will always say never go any lower than 80 on those as a guard. So uh, strength. Okay, I said we were going to talk about this, right? Now, the reason we wanted to make sure we got a 75 strength I'm gonna, uh, if you look up at, we're going to go up to finishing, right? Actually, I'm going to take it down one. Show you this real quick. So, where's Bully Badge? They have at least a 74. I thought it was 75. So, you can go 74 for the Bully Badge. Just on bronze. Now, I think it's a guard. I think bronze is good enough because... I don't think a lot of players going to be able to have this, unless you go against a pure lock, but everybody won't play offense. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is. Everybody's going to play offense. So, you go 74. I thought it was 75. Because it's one of 75 before. But whatever. Point is, you got it. So, on the vertical, we're going to go 85 because that's the other requirement for the driving dunk and the small contact. Uh, to get small contact um, dunks, you have to have, you have to be 6'4 or shorter. Have an 86 driver dunk and an 85 vert. Now, for pro contact, if you just want pro contact, you can do whatever height you want. You have to have at least an 84 driving dunk and a vert of 80, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure on that one, though. So, But we want the small contact dunks because we're trying to go crazy. So something got moved. I moved. Some, I must move something on an accident, <laughs> which happens a lot. I end up moving stuff on accident. So that should be a 99. Uh, let's go back. Oh, that's what happened. All right. See that? That got moved. <laughs> so there we go. I knew it. I, I, you know, when you scroll it down, be careful, y'all. Be very careful when you're doing this. You try to, you find that you can't make the exact build or something's wrong. Just go back and look real quick. And it's normally something that just got moved on an accident. So, uh, just keep that in mind. This is a very well-rounded build. The thing they said we couldn't do. So let's continue, man. We're going to try these bad takeover. Uh, I went with the ankle breaker shots created. And I went with the uh, finishing moves slashing take. Yeah, I went with finishing moves slashing take. Now, pick yours based off of how you play and your preference. You don't have to follow just what I do, man. Do do you. So we're going to move forward, man. As you're going to see, 
We are an inside out playmaker. Shades of, once again, Mahmoud Abdurraf. If you don't know who he is, bro, I swear y'all need to go look that man up, bro. He, you, you, he might have his big name as some other players, but that man, uh, do you got Darius Garland? Shout out to Darius Garland, man. My man was balling out, bro. And Damian Little, bro. Damian Little is one of my favorite point guards. You know, we wear number zero, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take it play of 99, and let's see what badge we can do, man. Um, I think I'm trying to remember what I did here. I'm trying my best to remember what I did. Um, we're gonna go Aerial Wizard, Giant Slayer, finish Fearlesser on gold. Uh, we need three more points, and that's the three right there. Acrobat. So, uh, you have to have you have to use at least 10 points on level on tier one and tier two to unlock a tier three badge so bully badge we're gonna make our core badge posterizer now y'all see i don't have enough right so there's a quest called welcome to the league gives you plus four badges i put all four of my badges on finishing so you see i got four badges left right here it needs six i would be able to use those four badges and and get this or i mean i can make this the priority uh, actually no 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 we're not gonna do that we're gonna make this the priority we're gonna make that a core badge and you can go here and just put your extra badges here you have one extra badge you can put on like fast twitch or something you know what i'm saying but just letting you know that's what i did uh personally so don't worry about the lack of uh quote unquote lack of badges now shooting uh this is my preference y'all can go whatever y'all want but i like to go catch and shoot off the gate, I'm going to catch and shoot. I'm using guard up because you hand down, man down. I could have sworn that's what it was called initially, but I think they changed the name as the game came out. Um, but, yeah. Uh, and we're going to go five here. Uh, then we're going to go here. Agent three. And actually, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Agent three. Actually, take that off real quick. Unequip. We're going to go blinders first. And I get one badge. I got one badge left. Um, I might go, let's see, let's go mini magician, and then I'm going to go back down here, and you can make either, I wouldn't really make agent three your core badge, because if you're going to do that, then what you could just do is, um, what you could just do is go here, make this your core badge, blinders on, and then just get that badge regular. And you still got the one badge. But what I actually want to do is, because as a guard, people will play back on you. when you, If you saucing them up, they'll play back on you. And they'll give you that limitless range. So you walk up, and I will walk up so casual. Never do too much dribbling coming to the court. I know it's a lot of, a lot of players do that. They do all this dribbling. I was taught even when I was playing back in high school, there was this point guard who was a starting point guard when I got there my freshman year. And he said, hey, you don't have to show off your dribbles without nobody guarding you. So don't try to do all that dribbling before you even get there. So I learned to stop doing that. He said, because when you do that, people are going to want to press up on you just to kind of prove something to you. You know what They're going to press up on you. So you want to kind of want them to play back and take advantage of them playing off, trying to wait for you. It's the same thing on the game. They try to some, A lot of people try to press, but if you blow past them, the next person – might not walk up if you're not doing too much. You just get past or whatever. Or you just got an open man. But if they just try, a lot of people, if you sauce them up enough, they'll stop playing up on you. Once you blow past them, they'll stop playing up on you. And what happens is they'll play so far back on you, now you can just walk up. They'll play you at the three-point line, but if you ain't walking up to the three-point line, what they going to do? Exactly. So, keep it going. This is our favorite part right here. Yeah, we're going to go gold. Then we're going to go dimer, hall of fame. We're going to go this, hall of fame. Then we're going to go uh, Quick First Step, Hall of Fame. Then we're going to go Clamp Breaker. Uh, now, there's two ways we can do this. We can go Clamp Breaker, make that the core badge. Uh, or we can go Killer Combos, make that the core badge. Uh, I would do that. I would do one of these just because, you know, you look at this, six points, four points, four points. You know what I'm saying? Uh, three points. You're going to get the most buck out of your bay making one of these the core badge. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about trying to get as much badge as possible, but use something that's useful. Uh, this only goes up to, 
um, silver, so you can do that. Uh, mismatch expert. I don't. I feel like I could break them down regardless, so I don't really need that. So I'm gonna go and make clamp breaker. And if you do a lot of dribbling, you might want hand handles for days. I don't do that much dribbling. I'm a very simple dribbler, and I'm more of a analyzing type of point guard. So I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna just use whatever I need to get past you without having to do too much. And then I'm gonna go killer combos uh, on gold. Damn it, man. You know, you have no idea how many times I've actually done that. We were on playmaker, right? So, actually, we'll go Hall of Fame there, right? Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Uh, quick first step. Hall of Fame. Make that the core badge. I'm not even going to put on killer combos because I don't use it like that. So, when you don't use a badge, try to find a badge that, that really fit the style that you're going to play or fit the style that you do play so we can go here hyperdrive because we're going to be slashing the basket makes sense right and then you can go here special delivery on bronze you can go needle threader on bronze if you want i prefer special delivery or or what actually might be necessary but i might probably go do it better is actually not it's two so i can't even do that i lied i'm sorry uh so we want special delivery bronze can't argue with that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can even take this down. And got two badges. That's three. Let's see with this one. This three. Uh, so you go. Yeah, you could you do a lot of things, man. You know what I'm saying? You, actually, I, I haven't really. I don't. I don't really find special delivery that necessary this year. Um, but if you throw a lot of flashies, it does give a boost to the person. You know, catching the ball just like Dimer does. But. Uh, I don't know. Uh, at the end of the day, yeah, I guess it's it's, it's worth it. Because at the end of the day, if you throw a lot of flashies or enough flashies, you want that motherfucker to make the shot. Because ain't nothing worse than throwing a flash to a mofo that missed the shot. Like, I hate it, bro. I hate, I hate it a lot. So we can go unpluckable here on bronze. And that's good right there. So we're going defense. Uh, bronze chase down. Chase down don't really do nothing this year. But, we, we you know, we got to get those extra bags. So we're going to go here. Uh, we're going to go... We need four more. Um, work horse, horse on bronze. Uh, just to make sure we don't... My fact... Our really... Having chase down on really doesn't do anything for us because we're not going to be able to get a lot of chase downs anyway. So uh, we're going to do that. And then we're going to go... Oh, can't do that. Hold on, we got to take some... I think that I put too many... I said bronze, right? Oh, yeah, I did do too many. All right. Yeah, man, I definitely did too many. All right. That's 10 baddest right there. All we needed was 10 to unlock, right? All we needed was 10 to unlock. So, we're going to go glove. We're going to go clamp. Oh, we're going to make... Actually, no, 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 correction. Oh, I did that backwards. That's what we was doing. Making this our core badge. Get those badges back. Then we go clamp. And we got two badges left, but we can't afford none of these right now. Uh, for those of you who want to make the priority with your four badges, put them on defense. That's a possibility, too. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. So this one, we go back, and we just uh, kind of use those extra points. Actually, no, no, no. I wanna, this is what I want to do. Because I feel like silver has got me so much more steals, bro. People underrate the combination of... of uh, glove or you know 22 was pickpocket and it would be hustler but now hustler is basically workhorse and the combination of two badges gets you more steals because i would get plucks but i wouldn't get the actual steal so um yeah man this is the lineup man y'all do what y'all feel that feels best with the way you play so remember just stick to your style but end of the day man it, it, this is a good this is a great build bro this is a great all-around build to make you really pull out your point god status you know what I'm saying? really show off that point god status so this is for the point gods that can really you know say that don't need the extra uh all them these plethora of badges just to do something because otherwise you would have to be just a specialist but they said we can be an all around build i think we did that you know what i'm saying hit me in the comments and like like this video if you agree don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that noti bell for me man i appreciate y'all for giving me a chance man i really do man we here the ball I hope y'all have a good day and a good week and continue to have a good day and a good week. That includes the weekend. And remember, please remember, don't be toxic. Let's bowl.